When they pulled off the mask, it revealed the man with no face. <laughs> <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, my turn. It was a dark and windy night. What was that? Perhaps it was the man with no face. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it that time. It definitely wasn't the wind. <laughs> Maybe it's an animal outside. Calm down, it's probably just a squirrel. Uh, a rather large squirrel. A rather large squirrel, which with fingers able to manipulate a tent doors it. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's trying to get in. Get out! I don't know. I didn't dare look back. A bear? I think it was a huge, terrifying bear. Not sure bears are very common in Hampton Hill. A wolf then? Not saying I'm David Attenborough or anything, but I don't think there are any wolves in Hampton Hill. Well, if it's not a bear or a wolf or a school with very manipulative hands, what is it? It's the man with no face. I knew we shouldn't have told those ghost stories. Don't be so silly, there's no such thing as ghosts. There's probably a reasonable explanation for this. It could be... Oh goodness, it's found us! It's trying to get in! Quick, barricade the door! Whatever it is out there, if these bits of furniture aren't going to stop it. The door is starting to open! It's too late! Quick, everybody hide! Get away! Nigel? Is Nigel there? <gasps> Mum? Oh, hello, darling. I thought you might be needing your nighttime pants just in case of a little accident. Mum! <laughs> My goodness, you all look like you've been attacked by a pack of wolves. Or a pack of squirrels. With <laughs> <laughs>